Testing, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. All we need is, is uh, <clears throat> Jason. <clears throat> He's probably finishing breakfast. Jay, are you there? Hello, hello. Anybody there? I'll send him a text. Hang on. Yeah, we're waiting for Jason. There's like four of us in here. Okay. Eric, you on? I sure am. Okay. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, apparently, Jason's not here. Someone's got to. Well, someone's got to wake him up. <laughs> I, I can handle the meeting, and I've never done it before. So it's the first for everything, right? Oh yeah. Rule, rule number one is you got to show up. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me see what's going on with him. Hold on one second. So, are you guys running his uh, his leads right now? I'm sorry. Are you guys running his leads? Have you been in his program for a while? I I have I have not. I'm working with uh, I'm working with Jay. Uh, this is Lauren speaking. Who am I speaking to? Oh, hey, Lauren. John Medwin. Hey, John. So, yeah, I have not I've not run any of his his leads. Uh, I know Jason does a good job with training. Uh, is uh, when he when he shows up, so he should be on the line here. He's probably having technical difficulty. All right, well, good. Let me ask you while we got you. Why, why do you like North American for the IUL? North American is the best performing IUL that's out there, uh, as far as performance. Um, and uh, we have all kinds of beta tests and data that I can get you as far as a look back and as far as policy features in deal breakers with every carrier. Okay, yeah, there's I like no, that. There's no, there's, no other, there's no other carrier that comes even close. Allianz, Minnesota Life claim that they do, uh, they do not, and I can give you exact data. Uh, we just spoke to the president yesterday of Symmetra, and I negotiated the highest contract in the US, so we will be able to offer that. Symmetra basically took like Americo has just tried and a few others, uh, not Mutual of Omaha, unfortunately. They took basically all the ingredients that they could uh, from North American, from Allianz, from Minnesota, from Americo, and they believe they built the best IUL right now in the nation. And uh, so far, I think they are correct from what my experts are telling me. My guys do 10 to 20 million in IUL uh, soft per year. Allianz's biggest group only does 10 million. Wow. Is there some kind of recording where we can get up to speed with this product? Yep. I can get you that information. I should have my contracting uh, data, John. I basically, I basically pushed back against the, the president and said, look, I need at least another five points. I'm not trying to be greedy. The problem is, is that everybody and their mother wants to be a rate whore in this industry. And what happens is people say, I get 115, I get 110, I get 120, I get 130. So in order to cure part of that, I need to at least be where I'm at with North American and Allianz. Um, my contracts are higher than pretty much 99.9% .9 of everybody in the nation. Uh, and I've been given that luxury uh, for many reasons. 
And uh, I'm not going to take that for granted. I'm going to recruit and train and manage agents to those contracts and get that production up. Because there's certainly people that are doing a better job than I am, uh, and they have those contract levels. My group, my group that I'm with, John, has done about 450 million of insurance sales, wow. which is a big, which is a big number. Yeah, I, I was on that call with you the other night with Jason. So uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. But I, I, I've got a, I, I know somebody's kind of a partner. We partnered together in some things, and this guy's a beast. He he's been walking away from cases under a thousand a month. Uh, which is like, oh my God, James, you're crazy. So I'd like to switch him over, but I, I don't know what to, he's a Minnesota Life fan. So uh, I, could pro- I, could, I, could prove, I could prove information that will, will get him to change his mind based upon uh, factual information, not emotion. That's what I need. That'd be great. I have, real, I have real data that can educate all of you guys on the program. Perfect. So uh, there's some there's some heavy producers that know uh, more than me on some of the intricacies of the IUL from the loan perspective, and I think that's where the differences start to really show. But you also have the cost of insurance, and you also have uh, when these products are built, the actuary has got numbers in there that they need to meet. So they, they, they know price per unit, what they want to make on these IULs. Which, so which one, John, which one, which one are you currently selling? Uh, Minnesota Life. Uh-huh. And if you don't mind me asking, what's your comp level with them? Uh, I'm at street comp with these guys. Okay. I could, ch- I could change that. Okay. My, comp, my comp with them is over 150. Well, as I say, I, I need something to be able to bring this other guy in because he's he's a the guy's been a millionaire. He sold his business and he's in. He's got all kinds of marketing. He goes up and down the coast for big cases. So love to bring him in. Well, if once I hear his name and I see his production, my team is going to know exactly who he is. Uh, are you okay. selling the? Uh, I think it's the Orion. Uh, no, the uh, Nexus product. Oh, you're selling the Nexus one. Okay. That's a pile of, excuse my friends, that's a pile of shit product. Serious. Their, their material says they've been making 99%, 95 percent. They're, they're, they're full of shit. And I'm going to, I'll prove that to you too. Excuse my French. Okay. I hope I didn't offend anybody. I hope I didn't offend anybody, but I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it to the president of the Nexus. I have no problem uh, going back and forth with them. I have on many issues. Their annuities do not, stack up like they claim they do. We have data upon data that we're bringing to the S&P 500 and to NASDAQ uh, and to the annuity world where the guys I'm working with, John, are the people who developed the income rider. Uh, I'm very close to a lot of people at Nexus, and I'm very close to a lot of people at Legacy. Their rates are not what they claim their rates are. And I guarantee you I'm going to put a huge dent in their production. Because I'm going to educate the agent about what's really happening. Well, that's what we need. You, when, you, when, you do a look, when you do a look back, John, believe it or not, and I was shocked at the number, when you do a look back of the most performing, best performing IUL on a look back for the past 10 years, month in and month out, believe it or not, it was North American again at about 6.4%. A theme came in second at about 5.77 performance on the annuity. The reason I believe that the Athene product is better is Athene has to put up less money in reserves than North American, which I was told could be more favorable to the consumer. They could pass more money on. For compliance reasons, they don't have to put up as much money. After the new federal ruling last year, how can these, how can those earnings be so much less than what they're illustrating? I mean, they're all illustrating. Because you can't, let me, let me, let, let me teach you something. You can't spell illustration without spelling illusion. <laughs> all right. 
I, I thought that was that what that whole ruling was supposed to have prevented was they had. You're to talking have, about the uh, the the forty nine ruling. Yeah, yeah. I I learned so much about that. Uh, I forget what it is, the AK forty nine or RK forty nine. I learned so much about that ruling that I forgot about it. The you're talking about what they can show for arbitrage between the the loan rate and the interest rate, and as well as what they can show. Uh, performance-wise, as right. far as being like a 7.2%. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So uh, the the reality is, the reality is that some performance of those annuities or, or uh, IULs have done better than that rate. Well, I know. So there, there, is, there, there is returns, but the, when you look at the real return, the real return, I'll bet you, let's say it's six and a half percent. After you back out fees and everything, or six percent, that's still a phenomenal rate of return. Oh, absolutely. And that will still beat. That will still beat in all, almost all circumstances. What the S the S and P five hundred over the past fifteen years did what? Oh, did three? Well, the real rate of return was three point three nine. It was the, the actual, the average was 4.97, I think. And where did you, where did you see that? Uh, that's from uh, software that I, that I use. Mm -hmm. And who makes this, who makes this thought? Let me tell you something about software. 99.9% .9 of all financial software is inaccurate. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay. Yeah. So when you hear about the social security software and all that stuff, that's all bullshit. I work with one of the smartest men in the world who's a CFA. He's basically torn apart all of their data. He's an expert in computers and was Bill Gates' partner. So he's as, he's as smart as in math as he is in computers, uh, which is on the genius level. And he passed the CFA exam in about a week. Oh, jeez. The, the report that you may be referring to is there's called the Delbar report, D-A-L-B-A-R. The Delbar report shows the weighted methodology uh, in quantitative analysis of returns. And you could pull that up on Google. So it's D-A-L-B-A-R 2016 PDF. And you're going to see the returns of equity mutual funds compared to the S&P 500. So if that's the software you're referring to. No, uh, this, is, this is just some software comparing the S&P 500 rates over the last uh, 17 years compared to a 12.5% cap. Well, if it's at a 12.5% cap, your index, your, your IUL is going to suck. Well, it's, it's, still, it's still a lot better than the S&P, which hasn't been that good. I, yeah, I'm, but the perform, the, the perform, it kills the... I'm not as intelligent enough as my experts are that will give you all the reasons why. But if that cap stays at that level, that IUL has got a major problem in the future years. Well, what's the cap on the North American product? It's probably 12.5% right now, 13. Okay. But historically, historically, we have data. I'm having a webinar with them next week, but – Historically, theirs is held around 13. Okay. What the hope is, what the hope is, John, is that the index cap is going to go to 14, 15, and 16. Wow. Because that's where we need it to go. Interest rates are down right now. If interest rates move in the other direction, then that cap should be going higher. Right, right. So right. We're, we're, basic, we're basing it that, that that will eventually change. That'd be awesome. So that's that's where that back testing data comes from as well, is hopes that over that twenty or thirty year period, uh, that that index is gonna be thirteen percent or higher. Because I'm told by the experts when it hovers at twelve to twelve and a half, it creates major problems for that consumer. So, what happened? Nothing, yeah. Oh, I'm so, I'm sorry. I don't know who that was. No, sorry, Connor. Go ahead. I'm just listening. Okay. 
So that's, uh, uh, I'm not sure what Jason is doing. Has anybody reached out to him or texted him? I sent him a text. I haven't heard back. Um, Let me try calling him. Yeah, normally, normally he's on. He's on point. Let me mute myself. Maybe he had an emergency. I don't know. Maybe some technical problems to enter this conference because I when I uh, called the other uh, phone numbers, I couldn't enter. Yes, I couldn't get in either. That's correct. Yes. This phone goes straight to voicemail. Okay. Let's see if I get another number. So, yeah, I'm sure he'll reconvene and reset something up. That's nor okay. It's normally not like it's normally not like him. Now, um, Warren, how is the contracting going with him? Is is he about to have his contract go through with you? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I mean, you know, I could, I could, uh, I just got done looking at all the big major FMOs and their big producers on several different levels, and <laughs> excuse me, and looking at their contract levels. Uh, I can assure you that I'm going to put a big dent in a lot of their volume because I'm starting to get their bigger producers to start to convert. And uh, in addition, I'm taking their uh, not so productive producers because of the lack of coaching and the lack of uh, commitment to those representatives. And I will have their, their, their mid core to lower performers starting to perform. It's not that these people aren't capable. They just don't have the right mentors and people helping them. Right. And within time and with capital and my resources, I can get them into the production phase. So I can give them places to go, people to see, reasons to be there, conversations to be had, a whole narrative, a whole presentation. I could teach an, I could teach an agent, John, by the time I'm done, what he could start at the end of his presentation, the middle or the beginning. And he's going to know how to build small victories throughout that presentation to convert that person to a close. So all through a, all, all through a solution based sale. All right. So what, what's the process? How do we get plugged into that? Uh, what we need to do is uh, I need to, John, do, I, do you have my email? Uh, I do. Email me your, have you, you've emailed me, haven't you, the information? Yeah. I think I, you gave me your, okay, yeah. so what we need to do is email you back. Uh, what, what, if you don't mind me asking, what FMO are you with now? Oh, I'm with a half a dozen of them. You know, I, I hate it. Just a, just a, just a couple of them. First annuity, um, um, senior advisory in Phoenix. Uh, okay. Brokers so you're with, you're with, uh, you're with uh, Scott, what's his name, Stern? Yeah. <laughs> Scott's a lot of fun. Scott's a, Scott's a smart guy. Is that where your BCA contract is, I'm assuming? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And I'm with First Annuity. has got my annuity contract, and I'll tell you, I need to get out from them. I, they, they had a, a new lead program. They were going to – XM radio and we had to buy territories. I, I bought down $2,500 for a territory in North Carolina, not the first lead. The program folded in three weeks. So and who gave you your money? Who gave you your money back? Oh, nobody gave us our money back. It was a startup. It was a risk, but uh, this guy had all the data and all the, you know, they, they were pushing this thing hard. So I, let me, tell, let me tell you, I Let me tell you a little. Let, the break I needed, I'm getting a territory with annuities, and they're all coming to me, and now I'm right back where I was, but worse. So yeah, that's not that's that's not going to happen, John. I deal in Scott. If you checked with Scott Stern, and I don't know whether you want to or not, that will be your business. 
Uh, I'm working with the number one annuity guy in the world right now that generates the most leads for anybody. He had a big falling out with Scott. He had a big falling out with several FMOs that have screwed him over. Uh, he's going to be under my umbrella exclusively here, and I'm going to be meeting with him this week. He's responsible for a billion to two billion dollars in sales. Wow! Wow! So he he's a smart guy. Believe me when I tell you, the guy knows how to develop annuity leads. It's no cheap process to do that. I mean, you're talking you're talking millions to get to get it to that level. You That's, know, is this um, the guy that it, does is this financialize? Is that the guy? He's he's responsible for all of those people. Financialize uh, took his system part of it. So the, it, we have a system that is better than Financialize in all of them. He does more. He did more volume than Financialize, but Financialize is a spinoff of his type of system. Okay. The top three. The top three groups are like that. So with Financialize, you're going to spend two hundred to two fifty a lead. Right. Here's the deal. I can get those leads for you cheaper and teach you lots of methods to how, how to go out and get annuity leads. So uh, in addition to buying them for that level, potentially, because it really does cost that amount of money to develop that lead. But what I have my guys doing now is developing a, a proprietary platform for mortgage protection, final expense, and uh, annuity leads that are gonna be combined into one. So the same guy that created the annuity program is now working, perfecting my mortgage protection and final expense new program that's coming out. And how, how long and will that take? How long till that rolls out? Well, the annuity program's ready. I can get you on the annuity program right now. I mean, if you're prepared to spend a couple hundred dollars a lead, I can get you on that program now. I can get annuity leads in your lap. In addition to that, I could teach you ways on how not to buy annuity leads. Okay. So in, in one sense you're dependent, in one sense you're independent. The annuity program does work. You're typically going to close one to two out of 10. Okay. So if you spend $2,000, 2,500 bucks, you should be able to close $300,000 worth of business. Wow. Nice. It's a good return. Yeah, it's a great return. And, and, and let me tell you something. No one can tell you the data otherwise, whether it's Scott or anybody else, because I have all the data. I have the whole back office. I have the whole system. I got all the legal data in writing. My attorneys have it. I know what the system does. I have two billionaires that are behind me, John, that are uh, we're looking at, like I said, partnering up with him, bringing him aboard, uh, doing it exclusively for what we're currently doing. That's just one tool in the toolbox or one spoke in our system. I got right. 21 other models where I could teach you to make money. How long until that mortgage protection program goes in? That's a good question because he's testing it right now. I just gave that to him on Friday. Oh, wow. Okay. Or Thursday. Thursday, Thursday was my conversation. So that's only a couple days old. But let me let me just say this, that he's so smart and off the charts. You're, ta you're talking about a guy that only makes probably 300 grand a year and should be making 5 million a year. Wow. Because he's 100 times smarter than me. Wow. And I'm, I'm 100 times smarter than him in several areas where I know how to get him to get his income to double or triple. So what he's lacking, what I'm lacking, I can never go out there and develop the leads like he does. That's just not my business. You know what I mean? Unless you're, you're real savvy, you, you know how to develop those leads. The, FM, the FMOs really know how to develop it. Hmm. If you want to know the truth. Yeah. So um, there's, lot, there's lots of different ways to get the annuity leads. Okay. So here's the other thing is too, on contract wise, a nexus limits you on what you can make. And the truth of the matter is through performance, people are paying for really underperformance.
they're losing money by by using them. Let me ask you. I'd rather make. I, I, I'd rather make. I'd rather make seven and a half points to eight and a half points, knowing that I got an equal to or better performing annuity, and make two points more. Right. Is is the two year crediting strategy? Is that like the future of annuities now? Is it is it all going to go to two years? I don't know the answer to that question. You're talking about the B and P Paribas or or like the J P Morgan Mosaic Index or exactly exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'd have to ask my expert. Um, <clears throat> it's a little bit of a problem with my expert. Because my contracts are so high, John, a lot of these people don't want to give me uh, some of the hand-holding. Do you know what I mean? Because they don't, they don't need to help Lauren because Lauren's got these massive contracts. We'll put that effort into somebody else. But uh i just worked a deal out with them yesterday uh where there's going to be i'm going to be flying agents in and we're going to be doing a big training on annuities and on iul so i'm i'm paying for the some of these experts to fly out there and help educate you guys nice so how how long until we can actually get contracted and get lined up with you starting monday Monday. All right. Wait, wait, well, well, hold on. Let me, let me correct that. What state are you in? Uh, North Carolina. Okay. So what I need to do is make sure that my company is licensed in North Carolina first, and then we could do that. That normally takes North Carolina is a faster state that typically takes three to five days with them. Okay. So uh, let's say a week to be safe. All right. All right. Great. So then from there, then there's no problem getting appointed. I'm in Florida. I'm in Ohio. Uh, we just got Texas, California. Um, I had a little hiccup. I had a promise from someone because of my big production that they were going to cover all the states at once, and then they kind of backed out of that agreement. So then I coughed it up and paid for it. So that, that in and of itself is like 15 grand. Okay. You know, by the time you're done with all the appointments. All right. So, how do we get up to speed with all your programs? I I, I built a lot of teams over the last two years and uh, never had all the pieces to where everybody was making money. I've, I've got a lot of relationships with a lot of agents all over the country, and I need to. I got something for everybody through you, so I need to know how to get up to speed with your leads and your programs. Uh, and what are they? What are they? What are they selling? Oh, I, I've got guys in my UL teams, the final expense teams. Uh, how about Medicare? Right. I got some Medicare folks. Are you doing Medicare? My too? guys, we are experts in Medicare. That's probably our biggest strength. Okay. So I sit in the highest contracts with the Medicare and the health. Uh, my guys are actually training right now with about a thousand agents over the phone for Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplementals. Okay. So I, I was attending Jason's webinar, but my company webinar is on Medicare this morning. Oh, wow. Well, okay. So wh 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 what my guys are really, really good at, John, it's amazing. I had Medicare expert guys that thought they were great in the field attend a meeting this week, and they went over to my uh, other partner's office, and they watched him on the computer and couldn't believe how he would sell five or six products to each individual that he spoke to. And within this week, I think we did about 430,000 commissions total. All right. So how do I get a Medicare agent up to speed with that? Is, is this a recorded session where I can pass, you know, send a link to, to guys to That's, watch or what? Yeah, we, we would have to do a training and get them plugged in. And then we, we would start training them. We would do a join.me or a go to meeting or, uh, that type of thing, and we would start recruiting uh, to the Medicare Advantage space. Well, I, I got to give them some reasons for leaving where they are. So, I mean. Um, well, I, I, I can demonstrate that. Uh, first of all, if you tell me the FMO that they're with, I'm going to know exactly where they're at because uh, there's, only, there's only a handful that are big. Okay. And I will prove to them uh, off a, on, a, on a private phone call that I could be what they have. Okay. In, in in all aspects, from comp to 
training to marketing to selling, uh, if they produce their 1099 and their W-2, we'll get to the nitty gritty and I guarantee I'm going to beat what they're doing. Now, I know a couple, uh, I know an outfit in South Carolina that does, uh, uh, um, has a lot of agents already under them with very, they, they must have a pretty good contract. Can you like beat somebody that, that somebody like that, that's already doing a, yes. a, a kind of sales? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're talking about in North Carolina, South Carolina, you're talking about, uh, mm -hmm. Um, assurance group or allegiance group, one of those groups? No, this is called the uh, Resource Center. Listen, whatever they have, John, you give me enough time, I'm going to beat anything that anybody has. Okay. That goes for Scott, that goes for Scott Stern, that goes for Advisors Excel, that goes for Impact, that goes for anybody. All right, so how do I hook them up with you or, or, or what you're doing? How do I get them to take have a them, look at what you're doing and, and – and have them call have them call me all right. let's get transparent let's get transparent i have nothing to hide i'll show them okay all right the, the 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 idea is i can i can i have the contracts i just need to plug people in to keep those contracts do you know what i mean we'll right. all be making money i don't what we don't want is the carrier call me saying hey lauren you told me you were going to do a b c and d and now you know uh, you gave us ten million, but you didn't give us twenty. Okay. They now, could, you know how you know how the rate game is. They could do that very easily. All right. I, I guess the, the the question for somebody that's writing Medicare uh, regularly, they can't move their contract. Medicare Advantage, Medicare Advantage, or Medicare Sup. Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage during open enrollment is very difficult to get them a carrier to switch them. So what we're really talking about, what we're really talking about is Medicare Advantage for next year. Right, but suppose, you know, I know some, some guys that have a group, they've already got a really good sized group. Their agents are writing day in and day out. Uh, they can't- They're writing, they're writing, they could write Medicare Supplemental year round, John, not Medicare Advantage. Yeah, but turning 65. You know? Oh, turning 65, correct. All right, so they so they got a lot of apps coming in and out, so they're not going to be able to move the contract, will they? There, there is a possibility. I just had this with several different FMOs, where my guys behind me buy out their contracts. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. My just to give you an idea, John, my guys are the ones that teach the carriers and the broker dealers about a med advantage and med sub. Okay. Okay. All so right. when a big broker deal, when a big broker dealer like LPL, where they have 14,000 brokers and they need to be educated on Medicare or med advantage or med sub, my guys are the ones that go and train them. Wow. Okay. Allianz just called my people to fly to their home office to train them on Medicare advantage. Really? Allianz? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why would, they, why would they care? There are certain things that they want to open up doors with for several different reasons. I can't get into all of it, but th there's information that they want there and they want people to be trained a certain way. Wow. They do senior workshops all over. So they may not, LPL doesn't write Medicare Advantage or Medicare Supplemental. These agents don't write it but they want to be educated to talk about it and maybe position it or have a strategic relationship with somebody. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. My guys are the ones that go out there and educate even some of the FMOs. Okay. So as a matter of fact, when I went to go plug in my relationships and get my contracts and when the people asked me who were my partners, uh, the presidents of the FMO went, Holy shit. How did you get connected to them? Huh. Okay. So all of the senior groups around the nation know who my partners are in the Med Advantage Met subside. Okay. Whether it's a whether it's a Mirror Life, whether it's Stephen Matthews, whether it's uh, senior groups or senior advisory group, et cetera, et cetera, they all know them. Health Reform Team, you name it, all around the U.S.
Okay. They all know who they all know who my partners are. Okay. So we 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 close literally over two thousand of those applications a week. Jeez, wow. That's our that's our sweet spot. Okay. Nice. So uh, do you write that yourself, John, those products? Um, I've been trying to get out of Medicare. I mean, I, I've just got some clients I'm maintaining that I've had over the years that call me up and I'm, but, uh, you know, it used to be the first couple of years, everybody was switching every year and, and now everybody's settled in, you know, Humana's pretty much dug in and, and uh, people aren't switching like they used to. So I, I just don't, you know, as I say, just trying to get out of it. Yeah, let me see if I got something here for you, just to give you an idea. A week ago, John, I uh, actually it was a couple weeks ago, had the largest people in the nation for Medicare and MedSup uh, fly in and take my agents out to dinner. Um, and I'm working on a different national program uh, where – I probably will be able to get agents to make a thousand dollars a week just based on a salary. So whether it's Aetna, Anthem, which is Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Centene, Cigna, Humana, UHC, uh, IAC, Moo, Standard, um, we, we sit in the highest positions of, of all of those carriers. Uh, all right. Tell me again about that salary. You're paying your agents a salary. Yes. We wow. we're, 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 we have unique stuff that we're doing in in phone rooms and things of that nature that is proprietary. But uh, I could get it where agents are just taking phone calls and uh, making seven hundred and fifty to probably a thousand dollars a week just from doing that, and then getting paid to cross sell on other stuff so that they're making two or three grand a week, just sitting in a phone room. Get out. So is this, is this a certain centers around the country that you use or is this, can somebody plug it in their home and tie into your call center? They could, they could do both. Okay. Well, damn, I'm interested in that. that. They could, they could do both. So there's, there, there's lots of stuff that we can do. What my job is, there are people, John, that are smarter than me in lots of areas. But where I'm smarter than them is putting deals together. Where I need some of the people is to help execute it and plug people in because they'll run with it. I gave you some of my ideas. You'd be worth $50 million. <laughs> I bet. Uh, you would be. And I know that that's, 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 that's why you want to, that's why you want to work with me. Cause you're going to make a lot of money. You're going to make uh, more money with me than what you're making. I know that's true. So, so tell me the, the, the call center for the Medicare, the agents buying, uh, per call, are they paying for per call that comes in or how does that work? It's, it's, uh, they're not, they're not paying per call. No, we're paying, we're paying them. We're paying them a flat number. We may pay you, instead of, let's say, getting 25%, we may pay you uh, 8% flat on the Medicare lead. I got but you. The phone's, the phone's going to keep ringing for you. Wow. Nice. Okay. It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop ringing. And the way that we're going to do it is we're going to advance several different ways where, where you're making money. You won't have to worry about a thing. You can make two thousand, three thousand dollars a week just answering the phone. Wow. Okay. How do I find how out? Can, how program? can we intern was... this program in this way? Just uh, by phone call. How we can enter? I'm sorry. Who is this? Uh, sorry, this is Sivan. Just uh, listening, and just my question is: if uh, we just want to make calls and. Uh, uh, receive money, what should I do? I, I should, uh, I just want to do that. Sure, I understand. Let me talk to Jason and then you and I will talk separately and then we can figure that out. Okay, thank you. 
No problem. I'd like to um, I'd like to start recruiting agents for that right after AEP ends, Lauren. So um, as I say, I'm I, still John. I'm still in. Let me tell you what the problem is. Okay. Uh, part of the problem is with the group that I'm connected with. It does not. It, they're massive, and they're probably roughly make about 150 million a year. The problem is they're not as big as the contracts that I have. The problem is, is I, I possess contracts that are even larger, but they have some systems that are better than me. Okay. So now I'm gonna, now what I'm trying to do is uh, kind of blend the two to see that if I can negotiate my sweet spot, uh, and then I'll have the best of both worlds. Okay. All because right. my contracts, believe it, my contracts, believe it or not, are, are higher than they are in the Met Sup and Met Advantage. They were floored when they saw my number. All right. So they how basically said, how, how, how the hell did you do that? So when all these pieces come together, how, how do we, how will I know? Uh, they're happening right now on the IUL on the life end. They're together on the Met Sup and the Met Advantage. We are plugged in already. Uh, they are, they were on a plane, all the big wigs from Blue Cross and Moo, and they all emailed me yesterday when they were on their plane ride. Uh, and believe it or not, they wired me about $10,000 just to buy more leads. Um, they said, they, here's some money, stay busy. Uh, and we'll touch base with you Monday or Tuesday of next week. And they just, without questions asked, dumped $10,000 into my bank account. Please. Like it was nothing. Nice. So I have I have all kinds of stuff that you will be able to feed off of and really leverage where you can make a lot of money. All right. I promise so, you. By 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 the by the time I'm done, your income's gonna go through the roof. All right. So you're a big dog and I'm a little fish. I'm afraid when these calls are over. You know, I, I'm not going to be able to know how to hook up and find this stuff. How, how do I actually, again, I want to make sure I know that I'm plugging into your system to where I can recruit people for this. And I say, I want to do it myself. So yeah, what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to set up, we're going to set up a strategic partnership relationship. Okay. And then it's going to be, re it's going to be reduced in writing where it's transparent. Okay. That you know what the terms are and I know what the terms are. And from okay. there it becomes legal. All right. So now there's no get now there's no guesswork. All right. So I guess first step is we wait till this goes through with uh, with Jason. So in a week we contract with you. Yeah. And then... it's, it's, yeah. As soon as Jason okay. uh, gets situated here, and then yeah, we'll be able to do that. There's these guys, including Jason, and I told him this. They cannot beat my deals. If you can prove it to me, because I'll be transparent with mine. You cannot beat it. And I know for a fact you can't beat it because I've been given, I've been given the highest contracts that you can get in the United States of all, from all carriers. And it's in writing with my lawyers. So if anybody says anything out that's otherwise, they're full of shit because I have it in writing. Well, wow. And that's the, that's the power. I've been given permission to recruit to these contracts. So if someone says if someone says differently, they're lying. I'll prove it, and as long as you stay the duration and we get it in writing, uh, there's nothing that they can say. They could claim, they could claim that they got better deals, this and that. But uh, if you have a lawyer, John, we pay for that lawyer to look at it, um, and we guarantee that we will beat any deal that you have in the U.S. All right, so Lauren, how do I how do we find out about your Medicare system to where we can start recruiting after AEP? Uh, that is going to be a discussion for probably later next week. Okay. What well, what we would do first is start on life and annuity, and then right. we would start to teach. Then we would start to teach you the health and the Medicare uh, AEP stuff. Okay. So that takes a little bit long. That takes a little bit longer on the Med Advantage side. They're very strict, as you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a lot. That's a lot more serious. So, um, 
it's taking me a minute to negotiate a couple of these contracts. Um, but uh, we should be wrapped up with that, you know, next week. My guys are, are currently writing and they're training at the moment right now. All right. I, I know a group in Maryland that has been Cigna's number one source of sales. And, um, and they've got a huge telemarketing outfit. And I came into them last year because they were so big. And they lost, of course, with Cigna being in CMS timeout, uh, these guys went to Humana and sales were bottomed out. I mean, absolutely bottomed out. They had nothing to do. They, they had no leads coming in. Um, and so these guys have a good system, but they were kind of narrowed down to Cigna. Um, I, I, could, I could change that. My guys are on the plane with the people of Cigna and with Humana. Uh, and I could tell you that we have very strong relationships across the board, John. That's what I'm wanting to hear. That's what I'm wanting to hear. So again, I, I got some great people I can bring in if I know more about your potential, you know? Uh, I, I, will, I will back it up. Do you know where they're, what FMO they're plugged into? Uh, you know, I don't. Um, I don't. I, I know a couple of the big players in there. I, I've got a great relationship with a guy up there that's one of the right-hand men. Um, so I'll just have to call him and ask him. No, pro no problem. Get me, get me the actual factual data, and I will guarantee, uh, you know, are you familiar, John, with the mirror life? Oh yeah, that was the first outfit I I uh, I came into, and I've got licensed in 2006, and they were a bunch. Well, you know, of you know, you know, you know, you know how big they are, right? On the yeah. med sub side. Yeah, these guys okay, are well, writing, uh, these guys are writing Medicare Advantage back in 2006 in September, and, and they had uh, the secretary had them all under the desk. They had a plan that if CMS ever came in, she'd go out the back door. I mean, these guys were breaking all kinds of laws. It was crazy. I think they cleaned well, up. Well, let's just say, let's just say that you've heard of Stephen Matthews. Uh, no, I mean, I haven't. I haven't. I, I walked away from them. They were, you know, I just, every call I get, I hang up. So I don't know anything about it. Okay. Anymore. All right. Well, here's the reality. I've taken already their top people. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay. So that's got to tell you something. Yeah. I have the attention of the annuity world and the life insurance world. Little by little, I am chipping away at all these marketing companies because nice. I'm taking their top people and I'm doing it better than they are. There's a lot of things that they do very, very well. Three years ago, I couldn't spell FMO. Three years from now, or less than, my goal is in 18 months is to be the largest FMO in the U.S. And I'm right. going to do it. Sounds like it. I have, mon I have money behind me. I have resources behind me. People like me. People trust me. People know that I'm transparent, and they're going to see the difference. And all my agreements are as clear as day. They're in writing. That way, there's no confusion about what we're doing. Right. So it's simple. I give you higher contracts. We, we, we work out lead programs. We work out and negotiate whatever we need to negotiate, and we go to work. Nice. It's nothing, fan it's not, it's nothing too fancy. I did, it, I did it for several groups, and I built billions in annuities for them. Billions. Nice. Well, count me in, man. Yeah, it was good. It was it was good. It was good for it was good for all of us at the time. But uh, you know, and, and there are agents that will vouch. And one of them, one of them's on this phone call that was with a group that hasn't had any assistance or help. Eric, you still there? I'm here. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, Eric. Eric, how long have you been in the business? Uh, for about four and a half, five months. In the last couple of days, how much have I helped you already? Uh, probably equal to all the help I've gotten in the past four months. Nice. That's a brand, that's a brand new rep, John. Okay. I've known Lauren for 24 hours. I reached out to him and I've helped him already within 24 hours more than what he's been receiving 
uh, from the group that he's with at uh, one of the FMOs. So we won't, we don't have to disclose all that right now, but I could say that he's in the process of leaving them. And I will guarantee not only you, but him, he's going to be in a far better position. It's going to change his life. Nice. Well, I just got a text from Jason saying they crashed and they're getting ready to jump on right now. Okay. I think he overslept. <laughs> I, think I think he's in bed with Alyssa. He forgot about the meeting. <laughs> but the bottom line is if he's getting on, that's good. I'm just going to tell him he owes me $1,000. I could yeah. be watching cartoons with, uh, cartoons with my kids. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, Saturday is all day to do this. Wait, say that one more time. I said Saturday is a hard day to do this. It, it's a big sacrifice. I mean, this is family time, you know? Yeah, but the idea is, is what I like to do is maybe not every Saturday, but I would like to do meetings on a Saturday maybe once a month. And then if, you, if people want to do a Monday night phone call, uh, that's fine. And I agree with you. Every you. Saturday. That's the way to do it. But, yeah, if you do Saturdays once a month on training – see where everybody's at and you know once once every monday one one thing that we're doing too john is we're doing uh what's called a team chat you guys there yep yeah. okay so if we do a team chat john that means that everybody could we could text everybody all of our ideas we're let's say for example you didn't know which carrier was the best simplified issue or which one had the best income, or which one had this issue or that issue. When I have 100 agents on team chat, you could text it out there and the other agents will help you close it. Okay, nice. It's a good idea, right? Yeah. So I don't want to give you all my ideas, John. <laughs> all right, well, I'm looking so, forward to working with you. This is, this is great. Yeah, so. There's, there's lots of them that we can have that will help you. So that way, that way you don't feel like you're alone out in the field. You know, you're at a kitchen table sale, you run into a problem, you know that your FMO and IMO or whoever, your upline, a lot of times they're busy and they don't answer. But if you're on a text message with a group of 100 agents, they'll help you solve that problem fast. Oh, okay. Well, I guess Jason's not getting on. I, 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 uh, it's, it's somebody else that's on now, but uh, so I, I guess Jason's not going to be able to make it. Said computer crashed. Yeah, I don't think they're coming on. Well, glad you're okay. here, Lauren. It made it worthwhile. All right, so. John, if you get me that other information, I can start on it. You have my okay. email. Okay. Yep. And if you want to, you want to start connecting people, we could do that, and we could we could go from there. Oh, we'll do. All right. All right. You guys have the, uh, you know, Eric. I apologize. I thought he was going to be ready to go, but uh, we well, can talk okay. to him too today as well by phone. Can I have your phone and email no address? Yes. My phone number is 248-891-5330. Okay. And the email? My first name is Lauren, L-O-R-E-N. Last name is Pollock, P-O-L-L-A-C-K, at gmail.com. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So, guys, uh, Eric, let's we're going to give Jason a call and see if he uh, if he's available, and then we'll go from there. Sounds good. Okay, John, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you shortly.
थैंक यू बाय बाय